Hello. Give me a second to post this. Um, I just did a Mystery School broadcast too. You guys might have seen it or you might not have. Be sure to check it out. I have been posting um, my Mystery School broadcast on this page, not to confuse people, um, because they're two separate venues. I saw a lot of people asking for cards. I will be doing cards today like usual. I'm going to be doing um, the news and cards. So go ahead and drop your name um, if you're going to want a card. I am waiting um, for my phone to load right now, sorry, so I can share this video. Um, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be giving away a free third eye activation to a random number I've already selected and written down. Um, so if you guys share this video when you can, when it loads, um, I will be giving away a random third eye activation. I want to try to get a good audience for this one. One sec. We have lots of controversial news as usual, right? What else is new? Another day in paradise. Hang on, I have a couple more shares. I want to get a really good audience today, so go ahead and share this video too. Um, because I'm giving away a free third eye activation that I have chosen at random of a number. I can never find my groups because everyone adds me to so many groups I can never find them to share. I just cleaned up my groups the other day too. Alright, go ahead and share this video if you're just logging on. I will be giving away a free third eye activation. As soon as um, I get off of here, I'll be around to do it too. So let's get a good audience with this. I'm trying to help wake up America and the world. Um, and any kind of spreading awareness helps. So go ahead and share this video if you're just logging on. And I'm going to start the news. Go ahead and drop your name if you guys are going to want a card. Um, hang on, I have one more share I just forgot I could do. Alright. Share this video. Um, I'll be giving away a random third eye activation off a number I chose um, off of the share number. So if you get that number, you get the third eye activation. So go ahead and share this video. Russia's highest volcano, um, and you know I'm going to suck at saying this, the Klesha Shavusky, which resides in the um, Kamchataka Peninsula in Russia's Far East, was captured spewing huge ash clouds um, rising that rose to a staggering five miles high. Let me break this down for you guys. Um, I don't really want to go there because a lot of this stuff is orchestrated that we see in the Matrix, so if you're like watching CNN or the regular news, it's complete bullshit that is made up to... Um, to make you feel patriotic, to make you feel a certain way. Um, so I don't really want to go there, but there's a lot of protests going on, and some of them are even paid protesters again, you know, just to kind of cause controversy and whatever. So there's a lot of protests. It doesn't matter if they're paid or not. When people are in disharmony with themselves and with each other, the earth will respond. So that's what's making these earth changes amp up every month. They're just getting crazier and crazier as um, the collective is kind of coming unraveled. Um, 116,886 people need a life-saving transplant right now. And every 10 minutes, someone is added to that waiting list. We've all seen the movies where people die when they don't get organs. People go buy the organs illegally. We know what's going on. Most people never get a transplant. 22 people die every day waiting for a transplant in the U.S. on average on that list. Now they're doing research to make it possible to use pigs for human organ transplants. They have genetically modified these pigs to get rid of their virus genes. Less than a quarter of the people on the transplant list will ever get an organ, they're saying. They're saying within the next few years, people will be able to actually start transplanting these organs. So this is a really fast-paced plan. Um, and we've heard stories of pig people. <laughs> now it's not so far-fetched. Um, a new device may soon be able to heal wounds in less than a second by reprogramming cells in the body. I had to throw this in here because this is what we're doing. Um, we do DNA activations. We do third eye activations. I'll just throw this in right here. Um, we teach Reiki. We also, if you're a Reiki master, we teach Blue Star Healing, which is pretty amazing. Um, you have to be a Reiki master to take that class, though. Take those courses. Um, but literally, we're using... Um, 
We're using energy to reprogram the body and to heal the body in a deep kind of way. We're repairing DNA, activating it, things of that nature. So I really, really like this because now they're starting to use technology to do those same kind of things. Researchers say that tissue nanotransfection technology can heal with a single touch and doesn't require a hospital or a lab. This technology has a hardware, but it has a genetic code that is transferred into the body. This hardware is a series of nano needles, and these needles transfer the genetic code into the tissue of the interest. Um, the genetic code is chosen by what you want to heal. Um, we're using those same principles to do this without the needles and the technology and the computers. Um, we're using this, uh, we're using our consciousness to direct conscious energy to heal people. So I think this is pretty amazing because we know that we have the capability to actually recode and repair um, DNA. Um, I had to put this in here too. Sorry guys. Um, and my, I don't try to get political ever, but um, evangelical advisory to President Trump Jeffers has made crazy statements saying God has given President Trump the authority to take out North Korea's dictator Kim Jong-un. Um, Pastor Jeffers the Bible, uses the Bible's Book of Romans 13.4, which says, quote, For he is the serving of God, an avenger who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoer, end quote. But not every religious leader agrees with this interpretation. He says the Bible gives President Trump whatever moral force necessary, um, to, such as an assassination or a war. This guy's basically completely crazy, and he is President Trump's spiritual advisor. So I think people might want, might be a little bit concerned. Um, I saw several interviews with this guy, and he's a complete whack job. He's using, um, basically, this is what Muslims do. They take a passage out of the Bible, and then they twist it around um, for their agenda. So this guy is just a complete whack job. Um, I saw him arguing with a couple of priests um, on CNN, I believe. It's pretty crazy. But it's concerning that this is where the president is going for spiritual advice. Nevada. Concerns over a staff member of a middle school that died of tuberculosis. Um, now they're testing all the students at John C. Fremont Middle School, which is near Lake Mead. We're seeing outbreaks of tuberculosis, the plague, things like that. And I know people would love to say it's from people not vaccinating. These are actually outbreaks happening with people that are already vaccinated. So maybe the vaccines are not working, and it's not that people are not getting vaccinated. They actually are, and these outbreaks are still occurring. So maybe um, vaccines are not that effective at eradicating these diseases, and maybe they just were dormant for a really long time, and they're just now coming back. Um, New Orleans flooded again, costing many public officials their jobs. Flooding scenes were reminiscent to Katrina. Um, 20 of the city's 121 drainage pipes were out of commission and they're like basically freaking out because if they got flooded that bad before a hurricane, they're basically saying like they'll be screwed. They fired a bunch of people um, because these pumps were not even working or whatever. I'm going to do cards now, so drop your name if you want a card. I'm having an ambitious day today. I have much to do. I have a lot of like healing work to do after, so I'm just kind of jumping into it. I slept really good last night though, um, like really good. So you guys should be sleeping good until this eclipse energy comes back to terrorize us. Um, we should be sleeping really good right now. So rest up, meditate, recharge, spend time alone with your thoughts. I've been meditating and downloading a lot of information and just kind of doing my healing work quietly. Um, so if you guys need me for any chakra openings, activations, whatever, I am around. Um, you just have to purchase something on our site. I get right back to you. I'm recharged too. I feel really amazing today. So I've been burning a lot of um, sage and San Paulo this morning and incense and my house feels really high vibe. I feel amazing. I feel rested. I'm always the one who's the basket case with the full moon. So I feel pretty good right now. Okay, go out and if you're just logging on, share this video um, because I'm going to give away a free third eye activation from our store, um, which is pretty amazing. These activations will help speed up your ascension. Um, they will target problem areas, all sorts of really good things. And as you know, the third eye is crucial um, to this journey. So if you're just logging on, share this video. I want to get a really good audience. Share this video and I have a random number already picked and written down for you guys. I want to go back to giving away prizes again, but I don't like going to the post office all the time to mail out little things um, because I'm really busy, so I'm trying to get around that. So I guess I'll try to give away products from our store to get the same amount of views, I guess. Desiree Lewis, 
things are crazy. Um, that's why it's so important that we are staying grounded, that we are kind of coming back to oneness, to being calm, manifesting peace. Um, there's going to be war and craziness, and there is going to be peace and love all in the same place. We know how the matrix works, right? Whatever you're looking for, you can find here. Whatever vibration you're putting out you can attract so um, if you're in turmoil with yourself or you haven't conquered your darkness you're going to be seeing different things than someone who is enlightened and has conquered their own darkness and is working on manifesting kind of peace and love um, it's kind of amazing how that works so basically um, I know a lot of people are on this biblical doomsday kind of prophecies yes all that's going to come true the, yeah the bible revelations yes people are going to manifest that because enough people believe it they will manifest it um, but I'm not going to be seeing those same things so consciousness is really subjective I'm proposing that we manifest peace and love right here in the same place um, we can actually do that we can change everything we're attracting to us and everything that we're seeing um, you're here for wisdom and I had a really good quote about that too this morning um, I had to think of course um, knowledge is not wisdom basically I know a lot of people want to go read a lot of stuff online and I think they can fill their mind up with all these like philosophical things philosophical things metaphysical things whatever that is not wisdom wisdom is going to be um, attained through experience um, it's something completely different so I know people think knowledge and wisdom are the same thing they're completely different you're here for wisdom um, and I have gained wisdom, but I didn't gain it from reading books. A lot of people ask me, what books are you reading? What shows are you watching? What um, videos are you watching? And I get a lot of people messaging me in this job I'm doing on my mission, right? And I get so many links sent to me in my twin flame and I just say thank you, but I don't watch videos, like I don't read books. Um, I tune in, I meditate. Now when I first woke up, I did. I had to read like The Law of One and um, Dolores Cannon and some Edgar Casey books because I was guided to. But now I just tune in and meditate and download my own information straight from the Akash. So I say Akash, Akashic Records. So literally, um, this is different. If you want real wisdom, um, you're going to gain that through experience. And the best way to get there is meditating. We need to clear out our inner temple and to purify our energy. Someone asked me yesterday, well, how do you do that? Um, you're going to do that through meditation, eating organic foods. But a lot of people, um, maybe vegans, maybe people who are already eating healthy, think that they have mastered everything. We're mind, body, soul complexes, so the body is only one aspect. So get a grip on your body and what you're putting in it. Eat organic foods. Try to eat more leafy green things, vegetables. You know that um, eating garbage food is not going to help you um, or your mind. Get a grip on your mind. Become more positive. Um, think more positive thoughts. Our aura is a reflection of all of our thoughts and everything going on with us at all times. That's why it's constantly changing. Our energy is always changing um, based on our moods. I should have some pretty lovely energy today compared to yesterday where I had all angry faces trolling me and horrible energy throwing at me while I was trying to go live. It was very um, distracting to me. So today I should be great to you guys, a little bit brighter. Um, but our aura is a collection of all of our thoughts. But the most important aspect is the soul, the spiritual. And people are just realizing now too that there is a whole nother spiritual world another realm right here that we can access um, that we can have in our lives and it's just really it's pretty amazing it will just improve like the quality of your life everything about it and we know that when we die we're not going to take our bodies with us so basically all that really is real is your light body your soul um, and your energy purify your energy take care of yourself you're here for wisdom anyone who has their third eyes open I was just saying this in my mystery school video I was um, doing some lessons on chakras and uh, the energy bodies. I just did a video on it. You guys can check it out on this page. I put the link to the mystery school video on there. Um, and literally, it's pretty amazing because our energy is always changing, like all the time. And I'm kind of going over these kind of things and how we can keep our um, chakras open. But when you have your third eye open and someone else does and you're even having a conversation or just sitting around me or whatever, you're going to download actual information off of me. Um, when I met my twin flame, he didn't tell me a lot of stuff. I was downloading the information off of him, downloading actual words. That's where I first got the word twin flame. Actually, I downloaded it off of my twin flame. The Jane God, that would be confirmation. <laughs> Um, usually people will get chills, all sorts of ways of confirmation. The universe is always speaking to you and trying to communicate with you. 
and trying to show you things through everything you're seeing on a daily basis, whether it be a TV show, a traffic sign, um, license plates, whatever it is, there's synchronicities and magic all around us. Um, you're also all being tested right now. We're leveling up so fast. If you guys see, um, like the people that have been following me for a while, you can see I'm transforming, but all of you guys are too. We're going through a huge planetary transformation right now. Um, so to get there, we're all being tested. Um, in order to level up, this is a school, you get tested, you have lessons and tests, and you don't get past those lessons. They will keep repeating in your life until you pass them. Um, for me, I spent a whole lot of my life on the same lesson. <laughs> Same lesson. I'm not even joking with you guys. Um, a good, probably at least, I don't know, years of my life on the same lesson and I couldn't progress past it till I passed that lesson. So pay attention, um, level up, pass these lessons. They can look like a homeless person needing your help, a friend that needs assistance, someone that needs your help in some way. Just keep an eye out. Debbie Young. Hello. Good morning. Um, you're so successful in anything that um, you want to do right now. Um, I'm really easy to find for healing work, a little bit harder to touch base with for readings. Um, as you guys know, unless you go purchase one, I kind of am hard to find. And the reason why is because we live in a manifest reality. And um, I look at it more instead of seeing the future, I can remote view these timelines. I help you pick the best probable ones because we have control over things. We can manifest anything that we want here. We're co-creators and um, creators of the matrix. So stay high vibe and you can manifest anything. Trisha Louise, if you're just logging on, um, share this video if you haven't already too. Um, I'm giving away a free third eye activation to one of the numbers picked off of the share. And Trisha Louise, we're not patients, we're customers to them. Yeah, well, um, I want everyone to be healthy. I had a really rough time health-wise in this matrix, and I have a really good understanding of the body and health and how simple things are, and it's horrifying to me. And Trisha, I just put that commercial from Australia on my um, personal page, from the New World, straight from the New World Order on population control and how they're killing everyone. Sounds great, right? Instead of proposing real problems to real solutions, um, they're already implementing them, it looks like. Um, I know someone who lives in Australia and her and her daughter are very sick and I 100% guarantee it's from something they're eating. So work on your heart chakra, Trisha. Um, this is where we're all at. It is through having a really open heart chakra and more love that we're, um, we're making really serious energy transfers. I just went over that too in Mystery School, how with an open heart chakra, we have um, a different kind of energy exchange. Kathy Pissarillo. Um, Kathy, you would have to private message me. Um, anyone who is sick or suffering from illness, I recommend getting um, our chakra opening though because I have to do a scan of your body and that's how I do it. It takes several hours to do that, to scan your body your um, and your other energy bodies. So it takes me several hours to tune in to do that. That's why I recommend everyone getting a chakra opening. Any kind of illness is going to be from blocked chakras. Um, it's that simple. So obviously unblocking these chakras will have really amazing effects on people. Um, you're not suffering in silence. Literally, we're deeply connected. That's how I'm able to tune in to anyone on this planet and to do my energy work with people. We're deeply connected, um, deeply connected. So don't feel alone. Yeah, there's protests going on outside Trump Towers. Like I saw for like five hours, probably live streams all over Facebook and just, you know, just negativity everywhere. But there's a lot of positive things going on in the same place. Um, there's a lot of light workers here helping to build a new world. So um, it really depends on what you want to focus on. If I'm looking for negativity, I can find it any day of the week. Um, but there's also positive things going on here in the same place. Desiree Lewis. Um, this is like the universe saying you're doing a really good job. Um, congratulations on making it this far. Anyone tuning into my video is doing an amazing job and is well on their spiritual path just to be coming um, into contact with me and running across me. So you're already doing a really good job. Just keep working at staying high vibe. These sound like simple little things that I'm going over, over, and over. But if you can master them, it will mas you can master your reality um, by staying positive, by being master of your thoughts, 
Um, and by being careful with your words, just the little basic things I'm teaching you about raising your vibrations, drinking more water, these little silly things are actually life-changing, um, and they've changed my entire life around. Amy Lawn, good morning. Um, if you're bored, I suggest checking out our birth chart. Um, it will tell you about your last life that you just had and your soul mission and why you're here. So a lot of people feel disconnected, bored. Um, maybe you don't know what your mission is or why you're here. Um, I was asleep my entire life until I was activated and I woke up immediately and had a Kundalini, acti Kundalini awakening and that I was activated to a higher calling um, to help humanity. And my mission is to heal and to teach and um, to help people. In whatever capacity, your mission is going to be service of others in some way. Kimberly Renee, good morning. You're working on your crown chakra. Um, I just said this. I was just going over, I feel like, um, instant replay, but I just did a video for Mystery School going over yesterday and today. The chakra is in depth each ray and what's going on with it. I would definitely check out that video, but this is your connection to source. Um, I was a lot more detailed in these videos, obviously. This is your connection to source. If you want to strengthen it, get outside more, pray. Um, you would really benefit from a chakra opening at some point too. Get out into nature more. Steph McGovern, good morning. You hate authority. Um, that's because we know we're equal. You're an indigo starseed, um, so you're not really a fan of these systems. None of us are. We've actually been persecuted and killed by these systems many times. Um, so you're just not a fan of them, but you're not going to go dismantle any of these political systems or fix anything politically. It's actually about you. It's never been about the matrix or any of this going on around us. It's only about you and what's going on with you. Um, so take a deeper look at your programming and what's going on with your body. Jessica Ricardo. <clears throat> Emotional withdrawal. Literally. Um, this is my card for the day, too. This is how I felt for like a good week and a half anyway. Um, I've been here but not here. Just doing my work quietly. Um, withdrawing from things. Spending more time with myself. Reflecting. More time meditating. Downloading information. It's only when we're still and we're quiet when we can listen and we can download information. So spend more time with yourself. This is my favorite card. I say it has nature. It has the beach. It has meditation, seesaw, everything I like, all in one card. Um, take salt baths. Clean your aura. I'm always saying that. Brent Charles, triumphant. Um, you can do anything that you want to be. Be that change that you want to see. Get out there and do it. I know a lot of people are waiting for someone to come save them and to fix their lives for them. Maybe waiting for um, Armageddon, the end of the world, aliens to come save us. Let me see. Jesus. Whatever it is. Waiting for someone to come help. No one's going to help you. You have to take power and control of your life at some point and you have to do this. Um, it doesn't matter how much of a mess you have made of your life, I assure you, um, because I'm coming from way down. I descended farther than anyone, and if I can do it and pick up the pieces and um, reinvent myself, so can anyone. So literally, it doesn't matter what you're trying to do right now. You're going to be really successful at it. Get out there and do it. Put some energy into it. That's what um, Manifested is all about. It's um, a little bit of effort and a lot of imagination. Linda Griffiths, good morning too. Material Harvest. Um, I'm hoping that you guys are working on your spiritual aspects and it comes back to you in love and abundance. I want you guys to practice putting the vibe out for love and abundance all the time so that's what you get back. Um, if you're looking for a relationship or you want your twin flame, put the vibes out there for your twin flame. Put the vibe out there for real love. A lot of people are like saying, um, oh, Jamie, Chansey, she only... um." Attract psychopath guys. <laughs> so she puts the vibe out and then she gets psycho guys back. Um, so if you want your twin flame, put out your vibe for a twin flame, real love, love in abundance. That's, I just do it to be simple, love in abundance. I'm not real specific. And then it just comes back to me all the time. So work on your vibration. Just keep putting love and abundance out. I know a lot of people are on this ascension path and they're like, well, I'm not here yet. I'm not seeing enough change. I'm putting all of this work in. Um, you were really negative. This is to everyone. You were really negative most of your life. And we created this. It wasn't the government who trashed the planet. It was all of us together. We created this. So it's going to take a little bit of time of us all being positive, being in love, and doing the right thing 
to really change the collective and what we're seeing. It's going to take more time. So just stay positive because that goes for your life too. Stay really positive. Just keep putting the vibes out for love and abundance because your entire life is about to shift and change like in a huge way. Um, so just keep putting the work in. Lizette Vargas, of course. Memories of love, um, nostalgia, a lot of childhood memories should be surfacing right now, um, things from your past. Some people are feeling bad about it, like guilt, or I feel bad I did this, or maybe I was a bad person, or some people are just feeling like sadness for things gone because people are gone, things aren't the same. Whatever this nostalgia is, let it go. Um, we have to let go of our past completely. We have to live in the now all the time. Um, so I'm usually living in the now and the future, unfortunately. But you have to try to live in the now. You have to let go of the past completely. We're trying to become lighter and lighter. John D's patience. Like I said, have patience with the universe. Um, everything is going according to divine plan. And <clears throat> we're always right where we should be. So just have patience that everything is like happening fast enough and everything is going as it should. Have more faith. Pamela, watch. New beginnings. Like I said, this is going to be a new beginning for me. I know a lot of people are choosing the end and destruction like Atlantis. We already were there. We saw it play out. Um, but I'm proposing that we actually um, start a new beginning here in the same place. And that we can create something new in the same exact space. So it really just depends on where you're at. Um, I think it's important to remember too that heaven and hell are states of consciousness. Um, I've been to, if there was a literal hell, I've been to it here on earth before, I assure you. Um, so it's a state of consciousness. It's a very low state of consciousness, obviously. And heaven will be a very high state of consciousness. Annette Hulin. Moving on. You are moving on from anyone and anything not serving you. This should be a familiar um, concept to you guys. Get rid of toxic people. Get rid of jobs that are not um, making your soul happy. Get rid of anything that isn't setting your soul on fire. We can really um, build our dream lives right here. Oh my god, Jen Bird is sleeping so good too. Yeah, I slept amazing last night, which is really good because I have a crazy, um, I have kind of a crazy week this week as usual. Um, me and Lionel are going to go live tomorrow morning. I won't be doing news. Um, I'll be doing news again Thursday. But me and Lionel are going live on YouTube. But we're really tech savvy, so I'm sure we'll figure out how to post it to Facebook so you guys can watch it live. Um, you guys can always subscribe to his channel. It's the Alien Contactee, Lionel Anderson. Um, and then I'm trying to think what else I'm doing. I think I'm going to do another live um, maybe this weekend too. I'm not sure with who yet or with what, I forget. But I have kind of a crazy week this week, so I'm really glad I slept good last night. So glad. Third eye. Jen is really good with her third eye too. This is what she's working on. Um, keep working on your third eye, literally, because it will keep expanding all of the time. Maybe you can share my video and I, um, win my third eye activation too. So share my video too if you're just logging on. That reminds me about it. Um, we are all trying to activate our third eyes. Once they activate, like Jen's is already activated, it will just keep expanding. And every day you're going to be more and more connected and tuned in. Keep working on your third eye. Eat some more coconut oil. Avocados are also really good for the third eye. Amy Manal, you are letting go of fear completely. Um, if anyone has any fear about maybe North Korea, Russia, let me give you some good topics. North Korea, Russia, Trump, our government. Um, let me see, the NWO. New World Order, right? Um, the elite, reptiles, let me see, the greys. I mean, if anyone has any kind of fears, maybe scared of the dark, I don't know what it is. If you have any kind of fear left, let it go right now. You're divinely protected, and as long as you believe that, you will be. Um, so our belief has a lot to do with things. Our faith has a lot to do with things. You have to let go of fear. Anyone still holding space for fear, um, you would probably benefit from a chakra opening so that we could clear out your root chakra. This is related to the root chakra, survival and fear. We have to let it go completely. We have to go back to a place of faith so that we can stop manifesting those fears. That's what's manifesting these things. If we, had, if we could get rid of fear completely, all of these things would go away and die. We're keeping them alive with our fears. Naomi Sato. Sato. Prosperity begins. Um, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to attract abundance to me. 
um, love and abundance all the time. So I'm always putting the vibes out that for that. Um, and real prosperity is going to be in a spiritual way. Um, you're never going to be happy in a material sense. It doesn't matter what you acquire. You're only going to be happy um, in a spiritual sense. Kathy Picciarillo. Obstacles and challenges. Um, we place these lot blocks and limits on ourselves. Unfortunately, um, when kids are born, they inherit their parents' block chakras. They, um, that's how you get matched up with your kids, actually, depending on what lesson you're learning. Um, and your kids are going to have opposite chakras they're working on, usually. But you actually inherit your parents' blocks. So when I was born, I inherited both of my parents' blocks and limits. Um, and that's what I'm working on getting rid of right now, these blocks and limits. We remove energetic blocks, too, when we do our chakra openings. Um, but the only blocks are ones that we place on ourselves. We place those limits. We agree to them, by make, and we make them real. So basically, try to unlimit yourself. Try to unblock your chakras. I have a weird mix of comments, sorry. My opinions are nothing more. I have a weird audience on here because, see, I'm going to figure out a great time of day to go live. Um, when I went live at, like, 11.30 my time yesterday, I had crazy troll activity because these are obviously government employees, so they're, like, 9 to 5. So I was trying to go early today, but then I have kind of a weird mix of comments. Um, these are not my opinions. I've set aside what I want in my ego and my opinions. Um, these are channeled messages from the other realm, and they're divine in nature. I'm connecting directly to source um, for this information, so it might not resonate with you. It just might not be the place for you. Jessica Ricardo. Financial and material changes. Um, become spiritual. Put in the spiritual work, and then you'll see material changes. You're not going to change your situation if you don't make a change. Um, basically, we're here to change. If you want to keep doing the same things over and over, you're going to get the same results. So you have to change what you're doing and what you're putting out to get better results. Erica Diaz, Destiny. Um, you can you create your future, like I said, literally. Um, you literally create everything about it. So this is your choice. I know there's fate and destiny and oh no. Well, there are soul contracts that you have that you're obligated to keep. Um, that's the thing we planned out our life in great detail before we came here down to every soul contract and every relationship that we would have and every lesson that we would have. But by now, um, most of you guys should be clear of karma and at a really nice place where you're at, um, you're at kind of a blank slate to create what you want. You're karmically free. You don't have any of these contracts left. Um, so if anyone does have a contract with left, it should be with their soulmate or twin flame in some type of capacity. You don't have these kind of karmic things holding you back anymore. So you really can create anything that you want right now. People are commenting like 50 times in the beginning. That's why I'm all over the place with the comments. Um, so I'm getting confused. Next time, just comment once. I do go in order. That's why you're not getting your card if you signed on late. So if you like my page, um, I literally go live regularly Monday through Thursday. You can catch my feed um, a little earlier. So it doesn't have to do with how many times you're writing on here. Catherine Webb, Solitude. Um, unplug, recharge. Everyone is so connected via Facebook and social media. Spend some time with yourself. Um, I saw a really good meme that said, cheat on your cell phone with a book. I know we're always reading Facebook and reading Google. Um, these screens are actually really bad for your third eye to be staring at a screen all the time. That's why a lot of people get headaches um, in the forehead. So unplug, recharge. TJ York. Crazy energy, TJ. Crazy energy. Oh my God. <laughs> Crazy. I'm riding this insane roller coaster of a head. TJ is a star seed. The universe is a huge place and I'm drawing my own kind back to me, which is pretty amazing. Um, I have a good grip of good grasp of who's in my soul group and we vibe the same and we found each other. There's millions of people in the world, but we've just found each other based on our vibration. So I really love it. The universe is a huge place. Um, raise your vibration and you can tune into any kind of entities you want. You can tune into higher dimensional entities. You can tune in very easily to source. Whatever you want to tune into, these things are frequencies. Um, 
So I know someone wanted to say this is my opinion. No, tune in um, and you'll be in the flow. You'll be in that frequency and you'll be able to access whatever you want and any type of information you want. So the world is a really big place. Just keep working on raising your vibration um, because we're not going to have like this full disclosure like people think, but there's going to be more and more contact um, between people and their intergalactic families as their vibrations are raising. So just keep working at raising your vibration. Amazing things are about to happen for you. Wendy McGorm, um, like I said, um, I would have to scan someone. You'll have to get our chakra opening for that so I can scan in detail the body and see what is going on. Um, so, But offhand, I would say a lot of these problems are being caused by the food. Um, if you're having health problems, the fa first thing I would do is stop eating anything made with flour. Um, I know, because flour is spread with Roundup, which is a cancer-causing carcinogen, and it's not healthy for human consumption so a lot of these kids are being affected more i've been poisoned my entire life living in this matrix on a daily basis so i'm pretty resilient to it but a lot of these kids are really young and so when they just come on this planet and are instantly getting poisoned um from birth they're more sensitive to these things it's going to manifest into sickness easier so i would check out our chakra opening um for anyone of any age literally um, and your heart chakra is really open. You're going to start to become more and more magnetic as it keeps expanding, which is amazing. It tells me you're compassionate, you're empathic. Um, those are beautiful qualities. That's really um, what I care to embrace more. I want to become more compassionate, more empathic. So your heart chakra is going to keep expanding. It will even crystallize. <laughs> Linda Mondre. Light. Um, you are such a bright light that you can light up this entire planet. I try to do it for thousands of people. Probably I have thousands of people watch my feed and I am trying to share this beautiful light with you. I had the most amazing night last night with my twin flame, um, the most beautiful meditations, whatever. And I'm just going to tell you that I'm fully charged up with this beautiful cosmic energy and I'm doing this feed so that I can share it with you so I can uplift it. So hopefully when I log off of here, you guys feel a little bit lighter, a little bit better, whatever it is. I'm trying to kind of transmute any of these lower neg negative energies and you can do that same thing. You're such a bright light that you can light up this entire planet by yourself. Um, so just really work on cultivating your own light. In Jen is seeing synchronicities ever. I'm seeing magic everywhere. When I go out into the matrix later today, I'm sure I will see um, license plate synchronicities everywhere. It's like every other license plate. And I try to get really excited about it. So the universe brings me more magic and more synchronicities and more science, which is pretty amazing. Get excited about it and bring some magic into your life. Katrin Pope. Now, remember, um, like I said, we chose our lives, including our deaths, um, before we came here. So that goes for your kid, too. And um, these, when people die like that, they're usually very evolved members of our soul group that came here to teach us an important lesson. It's only through going through this grief and having our heart chakra broken can we open it to unconditional love. So um, your kid actually gave you one of the best gifts you'll ever be given. I know it feels like a lot of pain right now and not a gift. It's actually a gift. And it was very hard um, for him to go through too. But remember you guys picked that. This is for your soul evolution. I know a lot of people will ask, why would I choose to be tortured? <clears throat> why would I choose to go through this pain? You chose it for spiritual evolution to evolve your soul at a really fast pace. Um, so I know it feels like that. Once you, If you can work at raising your vibration like I've done, you can actually communicate with the other realm and have a different type of relationship um, with anyone that you've lost. I have a better relationship now with my mom than I ever did when she was alive, probably. Sounds crazy. Sounds crazy. Um, work on your friendships that you do have in your life. Work on your relationship with your family member. Work on all of your relationships right now, um, literally. Xena Flowerbud. You are working on heartache and loss. And um, I think this is where we're all at as a collective. Don't feel like you're the only one or you're getting singled out. I feel like we're dealing, um, I can feel it in my chest too. I'm kind of coughing a lot today. Um, we're dealing with deep-rooted heart chakra issues right now. 
And me and my twin flame have been doing really intense healing too. Don't think that we're not healing like all of you guys. So we've been doing some intense healing too. Um, just know that you're working on your heart chakra. Eat more leafy green things. Get outside. Work on that unconditional love more. And just keep working on your heart chakra right now. We're all just kind of healing um, past things, past life things, grief, um, this life things, any kind of chart chakra pain issues. Misty Light Comb. You're working on your solar plexus. Um, you would all, anyone who's getting a chakra card would really benefit from our chakra opening. Um, as you know, this card um, has to do with empathy. And um, it's really an amazing part of the body because this is where manifesting energy comes from. So it's really important we have um, the chakra open. You would really benefit from salt baths too. Make sure you're taking salt baths to help purify your energy. Um, we're like sponges. We're always taking on lower energies. I'm doing it right now as I'm speaking live. So my energy is going through a lot right now from when I got on here. Um, so we're always taking on these lower energies. We have to be really careful, like when I get off of here, that I'm dissipating these energies out of my body and not storing them in my body um, because they can become toxic to us. The best way to clean our aura is to take a salt bath. Any kind of salt. My comments are skipping everywhere, sorry. I am gonna try to get to you guys. Jonathan Atkinson, work on your root chakra, literally. Um, let go of fear completely, like completely. This is what I'm saying. We have to let go of fear and manifest our dreams instead. We can sit here and we can manifest martial law. We can manifest World War III. We can manifest famine, Yellowstone going off, and all the shitty things if we want it. We can manifest our fears keep playing them out or we can kind of be like this is ridiculous this is kind of like we're living in a movie um i had nothing to be afraid of in the beginning and maybe i could get a grip on my mind maybe that's what this is all about me manifesting what i'm seeing not everyone else doing it i am so maybe we could get a grip on our minds and manifest our dreams and what we want to see instead um so instead of focusing on destruction and these systems and how they're not working Put your focus on the good. I don't care if your life sucks. I don't care if you think you have nothing to be grateful for. Look deeper. Find anything you can to be happy about. Um, I don't care if it's the littlest thing. Get excited. Be happy. Find things to be grateful for. Um, because I'm going to tell you, we actually have it really good compared to a lot of people in the world and what's going on. Um, we have fresh water. We have clean food. We have roofs over our head, whatever it is. We have it really good here. Start to get grateful. Start to be thankful. Um, because we're all really lucky we've made it this far. I'm going to tell you something. The same energy that's healing me every day is making people sick and killing them. Um, those that have chosen not to ascend this life will be incarnating into another planet to continue learning on um, those ego those ego kind of lessons, those separation lessons. Anyone choosing to follow their ego or separation and choosing to align with these systems will incarnate into another planet. So the same energy that's healing me, reverse aging me, helping me every day is literally killing people and making them sick. So you guys all have it really um, good. You guys should be healing right now, repairing your bodies, working on your spiritual selves, things like that. You just have it really good. Um, get grateful. I'm going to get off of here because it's kind of crazy energy. I get kind of overwhelmed. I'm going to get off of here really early. Um, let me think if I have any last advice for everyone. Um, oh yeah, um, Monday. We have this eclipse, right? <laughs> That's a good topic. I am coming up with a creative idea for a eclipse special Monday. You know, just my regular live stream. I'll be going live Monday anyway. So I'm going to come up with um, a really good idea how we can do some kind of maybe guided meditation, activation type thing where I can use this energy to help heal you guys. I think I'm going to broadcast from outside. Even though um, I'm nowhere near the eclipse, this will be a planetary energy that affects the whole planet, not just if you're living in Oregon or Seattle or these areas. Um, it's going to affect all of us. Um, and eclipse energy transforms. It literally will shift you out of the timeline you are in and into a completely new one as a new person. Um, so this is time for transformation, making huge changes. Um, and I really want to utilize this energy to do a deeper kind of healing session with you guys. Um, real quick. 
I'm putting you guys in the violet flame right now, literally, because I want to try to burn off any negativity with you guys. We are a second away from getting our violet flame meditations recorded. We were going to do it um, the past couple weekends, but we couldn't get the microphone we needed. So literally, we're like a second away from having these meditations up to um, spend more time on yourselves. Literally, tune in Monday when I'm doing this eclipse thing. I'll let you guys know. Like, I think I have a time on the event. I'll start sharing it really soon. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to Lionel's YouTube channel um, because we're going to do our live feed from there or just pay attention to my personal page or the Sparks of Divine Light feed because we'll be sharing it around probably like in New Earth United. Um, we also had New Earth United hit 40,000 members. I want to say thank you to all you guys. It's pretty amazing because um, sometimes I'm, I have to go to sports games, you know obligations in the matrix and it's always mind-blowing the last um i forget what it was i believe it was like a penguins uh game i went to and there were probably forty thousand screaming fans in the stadium and then it was mind-blowing for me to think about it and think we have that many people in our movement literally and we have several movements and even more people than that and it's pretty mind-blowing because if you watch like a sports game and you see all those people come together with that crazy energy and it's pretty high voltage energy so it's really mind-blowing for us to for me to think about um we have that many members in our movement and how fast things are growing and it's because of all the memes that you guys are sharing and all of your help it's nothing that i'm doing it's because of um everyone spreading awareness and spreading all of this consciousness knowledge via memes so i just wanted to say you guys are doing a really good job um say hi vibe today and i will be seeing you shortly love and light